you are life. You are all life. You are life. <laughs> 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 we didn't even rehearse that. That was amazing. <laughs> I feel at the very start that I need to mention that I haven't got some sort of weird skin complaint going on. <laughs> um, I've got a little window up there that I've got this sort of they're cheap. It's this film that you get and you stick on it that it doesn't look like much when it's not sunny, but when the sun shines through, it gives you this sort of rainbow effect. Aww. So everywhere on the earth, and it's happened. There's times I've been doing readings with someone on Zoom and the sun's come out and it's just gone, oh, and they've gone. <laughs> like, I just love it. I think it's brilliant. It just, it, <laughs> you should just tell, you, tell people mm -hmm. it's like the magic that it exists in your house because you've created I should. I really so should. Is online with us. Hello, Because I've got, I've got it in a few places and it's above the front door. And sometimes when that shines in, you get this huge rainbow effect on the oh, wall wow. or on the floor and it just looks amazing. I've seen yeah. bits of that, haven't I? Yeah. Oh, it's so cool. Yeah. It's perfect. Yeah. So here we are. Here we are. I'd you call Ripley as I'm calling you today yes um so um we're here to talk about all things um spiritual mm -hmm. card reading yeah. awakening yes and all sorts of stuff and um before we go any further actually those of you who are joining us um if you have it if you if you let give us a shout that to let us know you're here but if you haven't given stream your permission then we'll only be able to see you as facebook user um so if you want to show us your name either give permission or sign off that you're um you know who it is um selena you might need to take notes my love <laughs> quite possibly <laughs> um so let's start with so we've got all sorts to talk about today some really good stuff and we we you and i haven't streamed live for a long time actually no. so this is really really oh, good to do it yeah um i like an impromptu live like this yeah, though yeah, um so uh, recently i have attended and completed in fact almost um yeah, tonight is the last time it is and i um i unfortunately will not be on that one because i'm going to dinner or something i'm so sorry um because the weeks changed didn't didn't they so i accidentally double booked i forgot to tell you that ever so sorry um <laughs> um hello beautiful whoever it is that's just said hello beautiful ladies um <laughs> we can't see who you are so um just completed the six-week course um called the link which has been an amazing experience for me um, and I know for all the other people in the group, that has also been the case. And there's been some really unbelievable things that have come come huge. out of it as a result. Yeah, it's, it's been like, seriously, I talk a lot about this whole collective thing. Sometimes when you get groups of people together, the, the you know, what you get from it is bigger than the sum of its parts. And this is yeah. absolutely an example of that because it's magnified the impact, you know, it's sort of tenfold you know in the impact at least for the the people that are in there so tell us what the link is first of all um give us a background so the link is my sort of let's say flagship course i've um run with this a few times now so i've delivered this a few times now i've done it both online and face to face <clears throat> and it's um, it's for people basically that are either going through some sort of spiritual awakening or they're interested in their own spirituality or they just want a bit more background. They want to find out why they think they're going mad. And it, it sort of covers the basics, if you like. So whether you're sort of just coming into it for the first time or you've been going through an awakening for a while or you're quite clued up with spirituality, this, you know, no matter what level you're at, it sort of, it fits. It's like pants with elastic waistband. <laughs> it's the first time I've called it that. Um, <laughs> and we cover the sort of, some of the things that you might guess, some things aren't. So we look at things like chakras and energy and that sort of thing. But we also look at things like karma, past lives. Mm. And we look at... Shadow work. work. Yeah. 
shadow work, darling. Um, oh. We look at sort of activating your heart chakra where all your healing takes place. We look at inner child, all that sort of thing. <clears throat> and I think what people in a way expect is that they're going to learn some nice things and that's going to be nice. Um, what you don't necessarily expect is that it can be very life-changing and transformative because it's suddenly the penny drops in a big way of that is why I am the way I am, that is who I am, this is why I've always had problems with this, this is why I've struggled with this in my life, this is why, you know, this has happened to me over and over again. And I'm able to sort of take people through this is the basics of your spirituality and your spiritual life. And people have some huge sort of wake ups. Yeah. And um, you can, we can sit, you know, you can actually witness them. You see it happen. It's incredible. Selena, you're absolutely right. It is totally up the street and I think you'd love it. We'll talk about when the next opportunity is. that is soon as well. Yeah. Yeah. It's, um, and the, the way it's done, it's all completely live. So there's two sessions a week. Um, there's, you know, on one day, which at the moment is a Tuesday, we have sort of, let's say the class or the lesson, if you want to call it like that. Um, and then you have a few days and then we have a, a group coaching session where we come back together and discuss how we felt since. Because at the end of every one of the sessions, we do a live um, visualization or activation that allows you to actually try something and actually do something and those activations include being able to um, meet one of his spirit guides um, being able to access past lives being able to um, you know <clears throat> really expand your chakras and change your energy how to completely um, postman shoving something through the letterbox That's not <laughs> um, although I do think at some point yeah, I think someone did come at the door. No, it was one of the other courses that I had to go. <laughs> and then guys come at the door. Um, so yeah, we had that, didn't we, at some point. Someone, yeah, someone yeah, it was. It was on the hard course that we're going to yeah. be talking about. Yeah. Um, it's not just theory. It's also practice. Mm -hmm. So that's the whole point of uh, we do that activation and then we come together over the next few days um, and talk about your experience and, you know, people's questions and how it's happened for them and yeah. it's surprising how people go away think they're going a bit mad or you know they're a bit tearful or they're snapping at the husband or something like that and then they come back together and everyone's like shit me too yeah, the same thing yeah. Happening to me. it's sort of like normal. it's this a bit right. like agitating the carpet in it do you know what i mean it brings some stuff out and you're like <gasps> look at this yeah, um, but it, like, the jiggle one, the, the practical bits you do at the end, the jiggle one, that's one I keep meaning to go back to. Jiggling, I yeah. love how you demonstrated the jiggling bit. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's no one's going to know what that is now, are they? Until, until no, they go. It's sort of, it is actually a, it's a qigong move. Yeah. Um, qigong is um, sort of the, the sister to Tai Chi. And it's all about energy and it's about moving energy and it's a method of sort of unblocking chakras and moving stagnant energy in your body that can be causing all kinds of issues including health issues and sort of chronic pain and that sort of thing and it's a perfect description I, for it the sister to tai chi actually it's it is perfect. because it's, it's sort of a feminine version isn't it yeah, it's a slightly, it's usually Tai Chi um, comes first, sorry, um, Qigong comes first, then it's Tai Chi. So those two things are very much linked. Hi, lovely um, people, by the way. I can't see the last I two people who've commented. Know. I can't see who you are. Even the person that said, sorry, it was me who commented before. I can't see who you are still. <laughs> but hi. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, jiggling is... a a fun thing to do. I mean, that's what I call it. Isn't there is a name for it? Yeah. Um, and it's a way of sort of moving and releasing energy that is just it's funny. It's yeah. quite a fun thing to do, um, and it's something that I do. And me and my partner Mark, we do it all the time, and we laugh our asses off while we're doing it, and it makes it all the more powerful, you know. Yeah. Um, so it's it's a real mixture on that course, mm. and. Um, you know, there's absolutely something 
for everyone well it's all yeah. for everyone um and the change that you see that you get to see in people throughout the course and afterwards is quite humbling it yeah. really is yeah um, and every time i have a group of people that do that course i see those changes in people and i see people's lives transform you know it's, and it's, it's such a, an absolute privilege to witness what you know be part of that really group. Is. so and it's so one of the things that's amazing i always sent your message about this the other day is and actually with the two courses i've done with you what you seem to create is an a, a space where people are able to be vulnerable they feel really supported and really cared for and that everybody if anyone needs anything needs you know some support of any kind everyone dives in and it's like big virtual hug yeah yeah you know um and even if they not had any advice which there often is um it's like we're here for you we you know we're we just know that you're being held kind of thing which is just yeah. and knowing that the chances are all the people are going through the same thing yeah yeah because you know it's a real sort of shit i thought was the only one that was going through that or i thought i was the only one that, that was having that experience being able to meet other people <clears throat> that are having exactly the same thing stops yeah. you feeling that you're going mad because we all do at times we all think you know what's wrong with me that this is happening yeah. and a big yeah. part of the cause is explaining this is why yeah. this is what's happening this is what's happening with your sort of spiritual life that creates these elements in your life that you can either um change or work with and grow from and that's you know that's the whole point of the link and you know it's called that because it's it's the link between your spiritual and physical and, and your link between it's the penny dropping you know yeah, um, yeah. and it's it really is it's it's a privilege to be able to train that course it really is um and as you say with the sort of supporting each other there's loads of support and also included in that course is a sort of a one-to-one -one coaching session with me at the end as well to talk about people yeah. and what happens next and, and all that sort of thing so it's a full approach yeah well what we'll do at the end of this is we'll talk about if people are interested in that we'll talk at the end about when they can next enroll onto that yeah um and i can tell you right now that the value of that with a one-to-one -one is absolutely ridiculously good um so hang on for details for that if you're interested guys but one of the other one of the, the reasons we're here um as well today is to talk about a, a new course that you've launched that i've also attended yeah um and that is uh called it's called reading from the heart reading from the heart that's yeah. right absolutely and it's all about that <clears throat> and give people a bit of a background as to why that's happening because some some people may not know you on here yeah absolutely so it's um i knew i was i, was, I put the course together and i kept thinking i don't know what i'm going to call this course i had no idea and then it just sort of came to me because um i wanted to call it reading from the heart because that is what i do yeah it's not about learning meanings of tarot cards from a book and trying to remember 76 or however many cards there are and struggling and having to go back to the book and not being confident because i don't and i i cannot work like that i can't work it's like reading, that. reading from the heart not reading by numbers it's not it's it's reading not reading i've, I've seen that quite a few times i've seen um people on sort of lives and that sort of thing on Instagram and that where they'll pull a card and go, wow, it's that card. Then they get the book out and read you the meaning and go, wow, that's great. And you're like, I could have I done that myself. I made the need for that. Yeah. So and do you know what, when I, so I, I read cards sometimes for myself and sometimes for others <clears throat> and I will always look at them and see what I get and what, you know, I, and I learn over time and still learning to trust what's happening in you know the the note the feelings the images the words yeah. that I get and and I'll get that sense and then quite often I will go and check the book afterwards and I'll go oh, oh that's 
what I picked up actually, or yeah, was that, was that an extra bit of information or an extra dimension perhaps that I hadn't thought about. Um, yeah. But that I will always take with a pinch of salt because I'm, I've learned that what I need to do is trust myself. And actually one of the big, the biggest outcomes I had from the reading from the heart course was I know I've got this shit. I know what I'm doing and I just need to trust myself, but it gave me some extra structure yeah. to be able to do that in a way that, uh, you know, actually have a methodology almost that is so simple and approachable. And that I, is what I find is missing. So mm. people are often drawn to cards. Um, we always refer to tarot cards, but in fact, the most common is oracle cards, which yeah. uh, are sort of quite a lot more accessible. What's the difference between the two? So the tarot cards are, are similar in a way to playing cards in the fact that you've got four suits. So you've got like wands and cups and coins and boots and toasters and that sort of thing. Um, and you've got, you know, ones, two, threes and fours. Pentacles. And pentacles, that's all. All that sort of thing. Um, goes to show how much you use tarot, doesn't it? <laughs> and um, then is it so, is that, are the major arcana part of tarot? There is. So the major arcana, see them as like the suits. So, yeah. Um, and them on their own are more like oracle cards, which are more, you may have statements or just images or one word or something like that. A I'm theme. a little bit more open. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And, you know, we've used cards for divination for a long, 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 long time. And people are drawn to them for different reasons. And I think it's not just about woo-woo. Because one of the things, I mean, I, as you know, um, my business and my ethos is all around um, helping people move yeah. forward um, yeah. Yeah. using these things. It's not just about talk that tall, dark stranger, and you, you know, you're gonna go in some money, and you're like, whatever, you know, it's they're both nice, but <laughs> it's more about um, looking at somebody's situation and being able to mirror back to them okay if you was to tell me about your situation you would tell me that through the lens of your emotion your judgment of what it, you think is happening when i read your cards i tell you what's happening without that judgment without that emotion and it can show you your situation and your potential in a view that you may not have seen so it's a prompt. It's really good if someone is feeling a bit stuck. You don't know which way to go. Um, and I would say, you know, 80, 90 percent of the readings that I do, um, both online, Zoom, um, face to face, are people that are going through some sort of spiritual awakening. Uh, because that is happening a lot at the moment. It uh, creates confusion and disruption, doesn't it? Yeah, some people know that that's what's happening. Some people have got no idea that that's what's happening. Yeah. Some people think that might be, but they don't know where to go. They don't know what to do. So this is sort of, you know, a 40 minute or however long you want the reading to be. Well, let, let's talk about that a bit, actually. So if people, so by the way, you're, you're going to do a reading in a minute, aren't you, to demonstrate yeah, yourself? Um, but if yeah. people want a reading from you, what do they do? How much is it? Um, how does it work? Give us some info on that. So it's sort of my um, professional page, my business page is Smoky Quartz Readings. We can um, drop a link in the comments yeah, as well. That's true. Yeah, that's So that's the same on Facebook and Instagram um, and my web address as well. And um, I offer various, so whether it's, if you're local, I can do face to face. So I do that here at my house. If you've tidied um, it up. Oh shit. So I had someone booked in, oh, not watching. I had someone booked in for 11 o'clock and 10 to 11. I'm thinking, right, I'll just have a little fat, go outside, just get ready. Well, well, someone knocks at the door and thought, this will be Amazon. Open the door, strange woman there, the penny dropped. It wasn't on Zoom, it was face to face. And I thought, how messy is the house? Yeah, put some pants on as well. Luckily, I was dressed. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, um, Luckily, it wasn't that bad. So I'm like, hey, hello, come on in, freaking out. You know, <laughs> all good, all good. Um, so, yeah, I, I 
do Zoom and uh, face to face. The majority of people come to do Zoom because it doesn't matter where you are in the country or the world, because you know I read some people abroad sometimes. Um, and it completely depends on what you need. The majority of people go for a general reading, which is about 40 minutes, and that's 40 quid. If you want 30 minutes, 30 quid, you can see a pattern forming here. Um, <laughs> 10 minutes. So, you know, it usually goes on. So a really quick one is 10 minutes. And that can go up to sort of a full 12 month forecast is about an hour. And I also offer a session because I also offer one to one spiritual coaching. So the, the highest ticket region that I do is a full region coaching session uh, for 75 quid, which is an hour and a half. So that's pretty good value uh, on coaching terms. That's, you know, that's it's very good. good yeah. value. Um, and, you know, that's quite a lot of people go for that as well, because it's not just about the region. It's, it's also about understanding what's happening for them and their spirituality. Yeah. So. Well, I've, I've got a plan forming now. First of all, I think we need to just make sure we talk to people about that course, the Reading yeah. from the Heart course. Make sure we get people, you know, the details of that. Then yeah. I'd like to just do quickly talk to you about what is it that you do differently compared to other mediums and other people in this field? Because I think that's really key and does differentiate you. And then we'll do a live no holds barred <laughs> reading yeah, on me yeah, for everyone yeah, to yeah. see <laughs> yeah, so yeah i mean you mentioned that you know we've sort of gone off a little bit from the card reading course there um reading from the heart and the whole point of that is people will often be drawn to cards they'll get a deck or someone will gift them one by the way this thing about you have to be gifted a deck for it to work is bullshit that i bought all awesome. mine apart I from one, one which you gave me it off yeah same same thing um so you know people will get the book and there'll be a little book in there a little guidebook or whatever and they look at the meanings and they try and remember them and then they're not sure why it doesn't sort of work out or they can't remember it or they don't feel confident it doesn't necessarily work the course actually covers a lot more than that it's not about yeah. this card means this this card means that because it's not about remembering it's about methodology and yeah. um, which absolutely works because you know as a full-time professional cartomancer it's, it's the method that i use Ooh, so anyone I know Ooh. it's so safe. um so you know anyone who's had a reading for me or anyone who looks at my reviews five stars all the way oh um, yeah yeah, we'll see that, you know, it works. But it goes back to why you want to read cards. Um, you know, your role and responsibility as someone who is reading cards, even if it's just for yourself, you know, um, looking at how it actually works, which is a mind blower. And when you yeah. know those things, when you know that every single person can look at one card. You might have 100 people look at one card and you get 100 no, different that, bit, that was the bit I think probably I loved most that when you asked people to do, you know, you you got eat, yeah, everybody to do it. Right? And yeah. the things that came out were amazing. Mm -hmm. And everyone just was like, I'll just tell you what's in my head and just trusted the process because you created that. That's what it is. Yeah. To do it. And that was it. And what was beautiful about it was. Everybody had their own take on it, but actually the same sort of things came out. Yeah. Fascinating. Mm, mm. And that's what it's about because it's not about, there's nothing wrong with the meanings in the book, but they're the meanings of the person who wrote the book. Not yeah, and also it keeps you, it's like you're not opening the yes. possibilities then for your own intuition. That's the whole point. Yeah, and that, that's the other link as well, because even somebody who hasn't got a huge interest in spirituality or divination or anything like that can use cards as a way to unblock creativity. Yeah, um, as a or way to help to them, that enough. Yeah, to learn how to listen to their in, own intuition, because it doesn't matter what you do or who you are, listening to your intuition is hugely beneficial. I mean, as you said that, I always refer to it as a spiritual sat-nav. 
and how much better your life is when you know you're going about your life and someone goes turn left <laughs> yeah you know, and that's what happens when you really open up your intuition yeah, you start yeah. to really listen to it rather than overthinking it and fucking it up you know so it really gives you a lot more direction and allows you to really live live authentic this um, is this is what i was talking to my recoders about last night on my course um and you know being able to trust your, your intuition tuning into what your signals were, are to help yeah. you make decisions and that yeah. the more you do that and the more you link that into your value system the more guided you are about life and and actually that's one of the things easy, as well, that the link that the link does is the link course does as well doesn't it it helps yeah. you understand very how very to trust so. your signals and all of those things yeah. Yeah, very much so. And, you know, this sort of thing really helps you to live your life. So even if you're someone that has no intention of ever reading cards for anybody else, you know, you're not your friends or anything like that, um, being able to use them as a starting point to give you a nudge or to help you to think of things in a maybe a slightly different way. If you're wanting to make some um, changes or be a bit more creative or help to find a tool for problem solving cards are it and that's one of the yeah. things that it's that is when you mentioned before about a differentiator my aim is very much to, I use these as a coaching tool and people don't always necessarily recognize that they don't always realize that they don't come along saying I'm going to be coached using cartomancy people come along for the cards read but I will talk to them about what has happened in the recent past, what's going on for them now, and then talk to them about the potential of what's coming up and give them ideas and reasons as to why this could be happening and help to nudge them forward. So I talk to people a lot about, um, you know, their own view of themselves and the agreements that they go into with their own lives and what's going on around them, their own negative self-talk, which is a huge thing. Talk to people about their confidence, how to change their own sort of turn down that negativity and dial up the creativity. And all of that comes out and it comes out in different ways for different mm. people. But there's certain messages that come up over and over again, because these are things that I see people struggle with over and over again. Yeah. Um, and that's that's the whole point. I want to be able to help people move forward. Yeah, that's and it's not point. like yeah. as soon as you go to a pure card reader or medium of any kind, um, you get the, and nothing wrong with this at all. But yeah. you get the kind of usual. There's a, your grandma's here. There's something about a white dog. I've had that, <laughs> um, and um, you're gonna. Uh, you need to be careful in your car when you go driving tomorrow or whatever and yeah for you this it's so much more layered and pragmatic actually absolutely um, and that, you know it gives people real focus uh, and it's less fluff you yeah know? it is less fluff and and you say you know, how it is as well i think that that's you know that's a real big yeah but always in a positive bent because something that sometimes yeah. people want me and say I'm really nervous and I'm like I, I don't um, I'm nervous you're going to tell me get, that I'm going to die next week or something I don't yeah. get bad news <laughs> and people then often say oh I'll be the first one you're like no dude I will not you won't <laughs> because um, my cards don't have that that is yeah, that's my not tool. the language you read that is not the language I read in so it's all about your positive potential and yeah. being able to show people the positivity in the situation that they may have felt was hopeless. Yeah. And that can really spin people around. I mean, I also read um, every week uh, in a fantastic place called Angel Dust, not far from where I live in Witness. Angel Dust. Um, and we have loads of walk ins. We have people that walk into the shop and they'll just say, Oh, do you do readings? Yeah. Have you got a space now? Yeah, in. And it's a quick 10 minutes and people just literally walk in don't even know why they've walked in and by the time they walk out they feel very very differently just in yeah. 10 minutes and i've seen that over and over again and it's it blows 
blows me away. Never mind them, you know. Um, what a wonderful privilege, though. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, to see that happen. And you mentioned before about <clears throat> the mediumship side, because I, obviously I'm a medium as well. And you know, sometimes when I'm doing a reading, spirit will come in. Not always. It depends if the message is being delivered in the way that it needs to be sometimes someone will pop in and sort of go hang on and and i'll <laughs> deliver that as well but it is what it isn't is contacting the dead yeah it's not just about giving a list of names of aunties and uncles yeah. that have passed away it's usually an individual that will come through mm -hmm. and um help to deliver that message and it, it isn't always the person that they expect and sometimes people as they walk in they walk in with them and you're like, right, okay, here you go. Someone's <laughs> all over. And sometimes it doesn't at all. And it never ceases to amaze me when it happens. Yeah. And it will never cease to amaze me when it happens. And, that, and that's how it should be, I think. So how yeah. do people get onto reading from the heart? So um, really easily. So I think actually in the group at the moment, I popped in um, a little post about it today. And we'll, get, we'll um, add all the links in on this post as well. Fab, and I've added links to the, I've got two um, sessions coming up. So there's one on Monday night, and then there's one on Sunday the seventh, and that's in the afternoon. So no, I've put no. different times, you know, because of people working and so on. Yeah. Um, and those places are limited because, as I said before, it's not about how many people can get on those courses. I like to do it live. I want to be able to spend time with people. Yeah. So uh, those courses are always limited to 10. Mm -hmm. um, but you can go straight onto the events, have a little read, and you can um, pay for that straight away in the, um, actually in the event, and you'll be on the course. And yeah. um, that's the 33p. £33.99p angel number. So it's just over the price of what a reading with you for half an hour would be anyway. Yeah, a general reading is for Yeah, yeah, so, absolutely. So, you know, if you were spending 40 minutes with you, it would be 40 quid, yeah? Is that right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so f the ability to actually read, you know, learning how to do cards yourself is less than that. Yeah, absolutely. And... Um, what you also get with that is there is a principal workbook that comes with that to help to use throughout the course. Yeah. And there's also a lifetime access to, I've recently started a private group for people yeah. that have attended um, either of my courses or, and I'm going to be opening that up soon to people that have readings from me. It's not a public group. It's right. an invite only group. And the whole point of that as well is to be able to support people with learning, to carry on that conversation with me. Um, I'll be doing sort of, you know, exclusive card pulls and that sort of thing in that group. Um, but the only way to get in that group is actually to work with me in some way. So that is part of the course. So it's good value for, yeah, you know, a workbook, three hour session and access to that Facebook yeah. And honestly, people, I would get on it quick because at some point Ripley's going to realise she's massively undercharging for her services. <laughs> I know you want to help as many people as you can. 50 quid for a six week course? I oh, know. I remember that conversation. Yeah, and I, and I was like, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, well, let's crack on and do the thing, shall we? I'm excited about this. Yeah, absolutely. Um, get Hello. into reading mode. Yeah, so this is um because I also do live card pulls mostly on Facebook and that sort of thing, which are completely free that people join. And this is um one of the main readings, the main pulls that I do. So I'm gonna shuffle, tell me when to start. Okay. Stop. Okay, so this first card is the circumstance that you find yourself in at the moment, okay? Intuition. Oh, that's so funny because this has come up a few times in our conversations recently. That, this that came up, up for me yesterday and I didn't know what it meant. Right, so this represents the Divine Feminine. Of course it does. The Divine Feminine, it's not 
necessarily about it's not about gender it's about energy so the divine feminine is thinking about creativity it's the bigger picture it's compassion okay so this is about being in the flow very much for you at the moment that makes perfect sense for you. we know that okay yeah so the circumstance that you find yourself in at the moment this next card is the part that you play in that circumstance that card is bread and butter this is what sustains you okay so that can be both ways i know it's absolutely your desire to um be creative and see the bigger picture and it's also your bread and butter it's also what you do for a living because you're one of like me you're one of the very lucky people who gets to do uh, what they are absolutely passionate about for a living okay so that makes perfect sense but also what you've got when you put those two together is it's saying that the creativity to do with what you're doing is ramping up right Th so this is so weirdly idea. aligned to a conversation i had yesterday yeah absolutely this next one is what's going on around you at the moment now some of my cards have nicknames, okay? And this one is called Don't Shit Yourself. <laughs> Every time I turn, I always go, Don't Shit Yourself. <laughs> <laughs> so, what this is talking about is the physical body. Makes sense, right. doesn't it, really? Yeah. Um, it makes this is talking about the physical body. And it's also when you put those cards together, the fact that it's talking about intuition, we know that intuition comes in to your physical body. But it's also, what it's also saying is it's talking about movement. Now, we were talking before about jiggling. Yeah. Jiggle. I need to jiggle that. Because, yeah, because by jiggling and by moving the energy around your body, that is moving your energetic body. It's also moving sort of creativity and ideas within your energetic field. I definitely so, yeah, putting those together, that is talking about increased ideas through the art of jiggling. Tickly ideas. Absolutely. Outcome. The eggs. Ah, are okay. you feeling the eggs so, come into it? <laughs> yeah, I love this card. It's such a beautiful little card. Look at it. Um, yeah. This is talking about something new, a new element. And it's talking about hatching out a plan and something new coming to you. So when you look at those putting together, it, it's very much talking about your intuition ramping up, this being to do with your passion and what you do for a living, your bread and butter. It's talking about you moving energy, physically moving in a different way to sort of dislodge little ideas and creativity that's floating around. And it's also gonna, and it's, that is gonna bring new eggs, new, new life and hatch a new plan. So that is a very quick, four cards spread and I mean you saw how quickly I can just bing 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 yeah. because I have not ever learnt these from a book and these are called the Norman cards not tarot cards not oracle and these are notoriously hard to read which I didn't know that luckily because yeah, I not know, they're, they're great they're they are so... however if people from this sort of hardcore the norman community saw what i did and the way i read them i would probably be lynched because be excommunicated. i would be excommunicated because it seemed to have been be done in a very prescriptive this card means this this card means that and i am not about that and i had no idea i've been using the norman you know i've got various decks the norman cards for a good 10 years and I had no idea that's what they are. And if somebody told me, oh, they're really difficult to learn because they're this, this, and this, I would never pick them up. Right. But so I, you're not... I, was, I was given these from a professional reader. It's a different oh, day. Really? Yeah. So it was my mum's best friend who is a professional reader. And it was the last reading that I ever had with her. And she had these beautiful little cards. And she said, you know, she, she did my cards and she said, it's weird because. I like these cards, but I don't feel that they're mine. And she passed away not long after, and those cards came to me. And I used those for a long time. When I started the business, that's they're, they're the exact cards that I was using. Oh, wow. So I, they came to me, and I learned them 
by how I felt about them mm-hmm. rather than being told it's this, this and this because it yeah. that stopped me ever trying it. And that's how I'm yeah. doing it through intuition. I That seems to make so much sense to me. So ordinarily when you do a, a reading for someone and I, I think mm-hmm. on StreamYard you're a bit restricted, you actually switch your camera, don't you? I do. So you can, pe- people can see the spread. You, does it do. work on here? So I think it does. Say. Let me just see. Yes, it does. There, okay, you go. there you go. So that is sort of the view that people get, you know, and I sort of lay these cards out here. Um, so rather than, as you saw there, where I just hold the card up, people are able to see the full spread because this whole area is is yeah covered, and know. they'll see more than they can see now because it stream yard chops a massive chunk yeah, off it does it, yeah it chops it and it's it's sort of it's not the best light or anything and um, there's me back well, i think that it, it feels like you're there with you that's the thing isn't it it makes the experience feel really quite intimate yeah actually. because i want people to be able to see the whole it's called a, a grand tableau the whole range of cards because i lay out um sort of 12 cards originally but it ends up more and more cards come through and it's so that people can see them see how they fit together so we can refer back to them plus people will pick out certain cards and we'll lay more cards on top so it's not just them sitting there it's a lot more interactive than that Um, and overhead works really well yeah um, someone's saying, oh, what's this? Just notice you're both online. Um, you'll have to watch us from beginning, love. We can't see who you are, but you've turned up at 0111, and that seems significant to me. Oh, it does. Um, <laughs> so, um, yeah, have a, have a watch from beginning because we've been discussing some really, really cool things. So to recap, for those who have kind of joined later down the line, um, we have been talking about uh, Ripley and her abilities um and two courses that she's running at the moment uh, one of which is is a kind of getting quick scenario and that is reading from the heart so learning how to read cards yourself in a in a hello, hello mr harris um in a less than um traditional way shall we say in as in it's not reading by numbers it's reading literally from the heart and doing it the way we, it should be done um through intuition so Paul, you'll love this, actually. Watch it from the beginning when you get a chance. Um, And so we've been talking about that. So the the first opportunity for that is Monday night, and it's a getting quick scenario because of very limited places. But the price of it is really super reasonable. So $33.99. We're going to put links in. There's already a link in the group. We're going to put links in this, though, um, to that. And then for anyone who wants to join that, that bigger piece, that spiritual awakening, the link course, I mean, that happened. The next one, enrollment for that is... That will be um, at green, some point green, in the spring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. because oh, right, okay. the next um, six-week course is going to be in the new year, um, and that one is going to be psychic development. Ah, right, yes, of course. Yeah. So this is for people that are more wanting to uh, develop psychic ability, and well, that is going to be a mixture well. of theory and practical, so there's going to be lots of practice, um, and people being able to learn how to do that. and. Um, because everybody can. So it's yeah. about really developing that. Um, those are there two any places left on that? Haven't even written it. Ah. Haven't even written it. <laughs> um, it's, well, I say I haven't written it. There's a spreadsheet. Really, you it's have it spreadsheet. really, haven't you? Yeah. So, so, the, I've got, so there oh, yeah. are still some spaces available on that, but there, I know there's a lot of people interested in that. In there. There's quite a waiting list for that. So right, okay. waiting list wise, there aren't many spaces left. That right. is going to be face to face, and it's going to be online as well. Um, there'll be more some more spaces online, but I do like to keep courses smaller because it's I prefer that. Um, We've got so someone that, saying we'd love you know, to do that one, but we don't know who it is again. <laughs> that could be Mr. Harris uh, again. Could be, could be Selena. Could be anyone. Um, <laughs> Only Selena um, when Selena's online. So that is the, um, the psychic development is coming up first. The spiritual development will be coming up will be one again after that and Great. then they're going to sort of all it around sort of thing yeah. and one and of our master rebels in between 
Right, great. So one of our Master Rebels, Lisa, has also been on the link, that spiritual yeah. awakening one, and yeah. was like blown away by it um, as well. Very, so, oh, hello, Krista. Ah, lovely Krista. There's various people that have been on one or either or both of the courses that are in Rebels as well. So Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're, we're forging oh, so a sort of beautiful blended community, aren't we? Yes, and I've got my work cut out because in the new year I start writing my book. I have a book deal, um, and that is going to be a sort of um, like a, a four-week um, plan for people going through a spiritual development. So that is like a four-week program to help people who think they're going fucking nuts. But it's Can we say who the publishing deal is with? Because that's cued off. It is Hay House. Yeah, it's Hay House. Yes. so that's all good that's all good yeah. sorry sorry about that work cut out amazing though good work that sort of this time last year none I of know. this you were like you know. oh i might go I might do freelance i don't know, like, I don't know what yeah. i'm gonna do i don't know what i'm gonna do you know <laughs> i only got a business at the start this year and it's you know and don't forget as well um on halloween night Oh, yeah. Me and Mark and Damon, uh, our lovely friend, is um, we are doing a ghost hunt uh, at a castle. Yes. That is actually on Halloween. That's on Halloween night. If it weren't my dad's birthday, I would so be right on that. Yeah, it'd be a lot of fun. Looking forward to that. I really, really want to do and that. And then there two days doing readings in the day and then actually on the Halloween night. Oh, um, really? Yeah, so there's me, um, my partner, who's a professional sound engineer that's going to be doing all the sort of technical side, and our friend Damon, who is a Reiki master, that's going to be working with energy. And again, oh small groups, really good food, um, all sorts of things going on, including... We'll be I'm getting in- massive goosebumps about that. I really feel like I want to be there, but I just... <laughs> I can't say uh, sorry about it. To- <laughs> I was there, not the first time I had, but I was there on Friday night and I, I got to go in all of the rooms. Oh, all God, of the rooms. Yeah. It's a pub attached to the castle. And so Charlie, the guy that lives there, I'm like, dude, I live there. This place is calling. Riddled. Absolutely riddled. So riddled. for people who don't know the castle, it, it, what, what was its history? So, yeah, it's it's sort of, it's Holton Castle up on a fucking hill, you know, and the pub is attached and it's sort of in the grounds of, um, you know, the ruins of a castle and the, the pub itself was a courthouse. Mm-hmm. So, you know, people were in there, they were found guilty and they were hung outside. And then you've got, um, you know, the actual castle outside yeah. that you can imagine, you can imagine. what that was like. You took me there one afternoon, didn't you? And that place is like... Base, isn't it? You can't fail to to feel the duty. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, yeah. so intense, so mm. so intense. Mm. Um, and you know, I'm you, I have a bit of these feels, but it's a developing thing. And but I, honestly, I can't I can't see how anybody could go there and not not get the vibe that's there. Yeah, and we're going to be three of us are going to be um, teaching a course that involves that. It's going to be a short sort of three-parter where the first module is about energy the second one is people being able to work with and try a few things and then the third one is back to the castle for very small private ghost ones so that's a really practical fun sort of course that people might be interested in and that'll be sort of some point next year amazing well blooming brilliant we managed to cram a lot into that yeah. Um, and it's been really good actually because it's been so long since we've done a live thing. Yeah. Let's do this more often. Love it. Yeah. Thank you very much, Ripley. All of Thank the stuff will me. be in the comments. Um, I will leave it to you to throw in the links to things um, and all yeah. of that stuff. If you have any questions um, of Ripley at all, I'm sure um, she will be happy to answer. Um, if you want to know a bit more about the course or who it's for, or yeah. you know, you're not sure or anything like that. Um, but seriously, if you want to join any of these, you need to get in quick because it, it's a long time till they come round again. And yeah. there's a lot of people queuing up. And we keep them small. Yeah. Yeah. Love it. Thank you. Thank you. I will see you all soon. Ripley will stay in the studio. Bye. Bye. Bye.